does this method actually make people more tolerant or will this actually make people push back even more? Mm. Because my, the, the only question I ask is, why? So, why, why are you going in so comic books kids read this comic book. like why are you not going to that's, that's establish the point. comic book ca- characters that's that's the point Aish. like here's the thing is like for clarity just to uh, add some context uh there's different v- versions of uh of, of robins right so you have like obviously the original robin which is dick grace and that's the one that you see in teen titans the one that ends up with like starfire like the one that ends up as nightwing then you have jason todd that said robin from under the red hood the robin that was like killed by the joker or quote-unquote <laughs> killed by the joker uh, he was beaten to like he was beaten to a pulp and batman thought he was dead and he came back as like an edge lord mm. uh like punisher-esque uh like superhero uh, and then you have uh this uh robin uh which is tim drake mm. uh, now tim drake out of all the robins uh, he was always uh like even before all this he's considered to be the weakest robin like he, he didn't have the fighting <laughs> skills of batman or any of the wait, so, 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 wait, sorry red right, that's right side note mm-hmm. you know robin is trash by the way yeah, yeah he's, 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 crash, no, crash, like crash. the creation of Robin was just so uh, little boys had uh, an outlet, somebody to like, because you you know you look up to Batman, right, and you want to be with Batman. So they mm-hmm. created Robin as a way for people to insert themselves into him, a little kid. Uh, that's why sidekicks came became into popularity. It was for that specific reason. So, but Robin wasn't really a serious character. He was just a vessel for the reader to to really be with Batman, essentially, or or, or with like a. Every every superhero had about like uh, Captain America had Bucky. Um, mm. What's it called? Uh, Superman had uh, another, Superman even had. There was an there was an era of comic books where every hero had a sidekick for that specific reason because mm. it brought up sales because kids liked seeing another kid fighting crime. Right? Well, I mean, so, I mean maybe you could, you could say Jimmy Olsen for Superman. Maybe kind the, of the, yeah, the it, guys sort of, but he didn't really have a sidekick. No, no. Like I'm pretty sure if they go back and like in, in, in his hundred year history, there's gonna be like I think it was like in the 50s and 60s where they really tried to push that sidekick era. Mm. But uh, so Tim Drake, um, he was he was he was con- always largely considered the 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 smart one. Like he was the one that ba- like he matched Batman's he had Batman's wits, but he never really had the brawn. And mm. even like in, in in modern narrations of comics, he'd always be the one that's like uh, behind. So uh, in in other words. He was the gayest Robin. He really was. And like, they just now made it like overt. They did make it overt. Like in all honesty, um, I'll be honest with you. It's like, I've been, uh, there's, there's these cool YouTube channels where like, they always have like these challenges where like, Oh, like gen X versus gen Z or like, 10 high schoolers uh, decide who wins a thousand dollars. And like, it's just like these random challenge YouTube channels. They're all located in LA and they have like these Mm. uber liberal uh, kids that go on there. And like, honestly, honestly, when you look at this new generation that's coming up, to them, like they identify with this. They 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 do. Like the comic industry, I don't feel like they're pushing it onto kids, but more mm. they're mirroring what they're seeing around them. And I'm not saying, of course, like this doesn't go across the board because for the ma- vast majority of the world, it's more more conservative. But in the Western world, especially more developed regions, like when you talk about San Francisco mm. and New York and California and like all these areas, these new kids, like they're very much. No, no, but, 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 but my thing right is that not. But you have to see, you have to accept what something is. You can't just try and construct what you think something should be. You have to accept by what it is. Robin is a global character mm-hmm. that isn't confined confined to San Francisco or, or LA. He is mm. known all around the world. Yep. He's known all, all around the world. And my thing about it is that I couldn't give a damn about how Robin was presented or he was this, he was gay, that, and so forth. But you coming out and making him bisexual, I now have a whole bisexual thing. You see, what if, because, you know, like um, people say, oh my gosh, you know, video games are harming our, our kids and, and so forth. No. When you look at GTA, it clearly says rated 18. So mm. if your kid buys that GTA thing, that's on you, the freaking parents. But it doesn't say rated 18 on this on this comment that Robin is bisexual. So what if a five-year-old who is Batman obsessed picks mm. up the, this, this, this comic book, sees that, oh, Robin uh, has a relationship with an, another guy, so forth, and this five-year-old sees his male friend and starts to kiss him. And I yeah, but, 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 but oh, see, well, but, I, I saw but it's just, that's it. what that's literally precisely what they're trying to do. Like they they are purposely oh, so, oh, they're trying to confuse kids. Then they're, they're trying, trying to normalize. Kids up. They're trying to normalize bisexuality. They're trying to normalize homosexuality. They they it again like I don't like the thing is like I I I kind of like sort of have become almost numb to it to this point because like it's in every media like it's just, you can go turn on any Netflix show. No, wait, 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 wait,
you're a guy that you say you're, you're, you're hopefully going to get married soon with mm. kids and everything. So you can be numb to it now without mm. any kids. But let's just say you had kids. Let's say this is like mm. five, six days in advance. And you have like a three, four-year-old kid. Mm. Will your attitude still be the same? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll be I'll, like, I, the thing is, HH is like, as long as the parents are present in the kid's life, the kid won't be susceptible to brainwashing. If you give somebody, you know, a man who, who stands for nothing falls for anything, mm. right? If you give, if you give anybody proper guidance and proper stuff, they will follow in your footsteps. Once you give them, like, if you, once you, when you, once you're present, it, the people who are susceptible to this are people with identity crises, people who, who actually like people who fall for not just, I'm not talking about just like this, like the bisexuality thing. I'm talking about like any kind of brainwashing in social media or, or in media consumption, like all that stuff falls from, from, from people that really like they're just trying to find something that they could belong to. I, I, I'll pull, I'll be honest with you. I personally, personally, like I don't care. Like especially for Robin and 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 all that stuff. Because like, first of all, Robin's one of the wackest characters in in, in, in comic book history. Like we know the stage. Like we, like come on. Like he's literally named after a bird. Like his name after his name is Robin, a bird. Like come on. Like like not to mention. It was very commonly known that like Batman and Robin were, were, were gay, like 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 not commonly known, but like like commonly discussed. Like we, there's that comic book where they were literally sleeping in the same bed, and this is like back in the 1940s, right? Like so, like I'm not gonna get offended over this stuff. Like God, you know what? Like if he wants to do that, then God bless him. Like and like I'm not gonna lie, H H. Let's use, I, I, I'm gonna use logic right here, right? If you're telling me that a kid could be influenced by seeing. A man and a man being to get reading about a comic where a man decides to go out with a man. Then how come kids aren't influenced when they see a man and a woman? Things that pervert the child's mind, or not, I don't want to say pervert, things that change the child's mind or orientation, I think that if we want to like have that whole discussion of nature versus nurture, hmm. I feel like are much more complex than just the media you consume. Your outside life is the biggest impact. Your parents, your school system. Like who's who's there setting up your morals and morality guide? We have well, to. It's it's, 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 all, it's all comes down to the parents, man. If but, if you're a trash parent, mm -hmm. then your child will be brought up by the nanny, the but teacher, and so forth. If you're a proper parent who has proper discipline, it's not just Chinese, so Chinese finger trap. H H. Remember, force it, it gets tighter. You get yourself mm -hmm. deeper into the problem. When you relax and just let it happen. Don't cause pushbacks. They want pushback because when you push back against something, right? Kids want to rebel by nature. Kids want to rebel by nature. Mm. In the 80s, right? When there was a huge Christianity movement and like Satanism and other anything, what happened? The music started becoming more satanic, rock and roll, heavy metal, you know, glam rock. When people were trying to like, they would, they would dress up like rock stars, dress up like women and just like talk mm. about the devil and all the stuff. In the 90s, right, like when people like they, they tried to be more conservative in dress, girls tried to wear bikinis, guys became more ruthless. Mm. Kids always want to rebel. Whatever the old generation thinks is not okay, kids will go for it. So, 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 okay, so you're saying that kids right now, they're... They'll think it's cool because their parents, is... because people, old fogies like me and you, because let's say, for example, if we think we're against it, we think this is whack, mm. they'll think it's cool because they don't mean you aren't cool to them, right? Mm. They they will go for it. Like, you know, here's, here's the private. Well, no, no, you, you, mentioned, mean... you mentioned GTA. You mentioned GTA, right? You mentioned mm. GTA. This is this is a fact. You can go look this up. GTA 1, when it first came out, um, when they wanted to market it, they hired this specific lawyer. And what this lawyer did, I forgot his name, but he purposely went to these parent groups and he got them to go protest against it, right? Mm. He purposely got them to protest against it. And because he did that, the sales for that game skyrocketed. Oh, yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. when you tell somebody that this is bad, this is taboo, this is not good, you people even NWA, why same banning, thing. yeah, no, no, because of that. Hence, why banning anything just makes people have a greater desire for, 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 for that thing because you're exactly. like, oh, why? Because you're not thinking that why is it banned. Why mm -hmm. is this thing about that? Mm -hmm. I but I want to answer. I want to bring this up. Yeah, because obviously you watched Star Wars. I didn't watch the latest one. I, I, I after watching Return, I'm like, I'm out. I'm yeah, out. It's, 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 it was not for me. So we see these. These were just two regular characters. Yeah, I know. That's uh, in, the, in the, the pilot Finn. and Ray Fisher. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, uh, yeah, the, the stormtrooper that was reformed. Yeah. Yep. So, but there was this movement that believed that they were gay, mm -hmm. and. They, they kept pushing it and pushing it, pushing it. Oh my gosh, I can just see. But like, there was nothing explicit, nothing written anywhere that they were gay. But people just inferred just by 
how they talk to each other and so forth that they were gay. So it now reached up until the very last film of the trilogy and trilogy was complete garbage, piece of trash crap. Mm-hmm. Or until the very last film, people said that they felt disappointed that they didn't really fully extend extenuate and fully go through with their gay relationship. And I bring this up because what you now want is let's take a very popular pro- property and put our, our agenda, our views on that property. Because once we do that, we're not going to force people to now have to now accept it. But my thing is that that's the, that's the worst tactic possible. Because what you do is you anger people. Do you know what I've learned in life? Even just me being like a YouTuber, never force people. Yep. Because when people know that they are being forced, they react angrily. You have to just let things flow. And, and yet now be a little bit more savvy and a little bit more creative in how you want to get people to be accepting of something. And you just got to just be like a wave. But if you're like, no, you must, you must, you must, boom, boom. So this is what, what, what you like. No, here, this is me. People will react angrily. People are like, whoa, 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 don't just enforce this on me. And again, I speak for myself. Mm. Bro, I'm one of the most tolerant people out there to, to a point. And this is what people have to accept. You will not meet anybody more tolerant than me. I, t- I told you, I don't care whether you're bi, gay. I don't, I don't, I couldn't give you a crap. But I grew up in Nigeria in a very religious family. The first time I knew even the concept of gay homosexuality was when I moved to England. Mm. So these groups can't even appreciate that for people like me, I am taken aback when I see two guys kissing. Like when I walk through London and it's like Pride Week or something, and I see people dressed and stuff, I, I'm taken aback. It's, so I'll go one my further. thing I'll is go, that I go no, one but, further. But, but my thing is that, so should you now bastardize me and attack me because I'm taken aback and this being enforced upon me will make me feel uncomfortable? So I shouldn't feel on un- un- I shouldn't even feel slightly un- uncomfortable mm-hmm. no. because there are people who plainly just like no 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 screw you and are hateful towards it. Yep. But I'm just slightly uncomfortable. So even me being slightly uncomfortable, like, so you enforce it upon me, I'm like, whoa, chill, relax. That doesn't mean that I hate you. That just means relax. Yeah. Uh, be, I, you know? It's 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 look, it's a, we do we're we're living we're living in a in a, in a transitional period, right? Like mm. people, there's gonna be pushback. The world is changing and and it's 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 changing fast for a lot of people. And, and you're right, like it's, you you had a certain upbringing and and you feel like this change is happening and it's it's uh it could be very confusing. It could be very uh, hard to no, understand but, and but right, hard pill my, to my thing, no no but, but just to put it very clearly <laughs> if <laughs> we have how, how's the best way to explain is like my thing is I'm not one of those guys that are like oh my gosh everyone is gay what the yeah, hell no, 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 no I'm not one of those guys saying. I'm like, uh, it's, it's, it, <laughs> but it's, like, you what's... question, you question, you question the reasoning be, behind why is it being pushed so hard? Mm. Correct? Like, that, that's yeah. essentially it. Like, we're just, uh, that we're just trying to understand why, which I, I 100%, and like I said, like, I'm not, how can I say this? Like you, HH, I don't care. I'll be honest with you. I have the only things that I care about, like, as, as a man, is when it comes to just helping my fellow man on like on the working class, the lower class. That's it. I don't care what your orientation is, what your race is, what your religion is, whatever the fuck you want to do in your own personal life. Mm-hmm. That's between you behind the, your closed doors. I'm not going to get involved. I'll never, I don't care about transsexual bathroom things or, 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 or like uh, th- these, these are social problems. These are on people to solve amongst themselves. That's not mm-hmm. my concern. I concern more about like when it comes to war, murder, taking over people's lands, when you, when you, when people's rights are being infringed, when pe- person's not even allowed to even live their life. Those are the things that trigger me. This, this to me is, is, it's just a social topic. I'm talking, I don't mean to insult anybody or, or piss mm-hmm. anybody off. It's, it's, that, and, and I'm, I'm, you're the same way. HH, you, when we're talking about this, we're talking about this because we just want to understand it. Right mm-hmm. now, HH, Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, right? So for everybody like you who, who, who questions about these, like, why, why is this happening? Or why are you doing this? You're just going to create an equal and opposite reaction on the other side. There's some people out there on Twitter that don't like you for whatever reason. They don't like you. Mm. Whatever you're going to support, they're going to take the opposite end, right? Yeah. Just for no reason. Just for no reason other than they don't like you. Yeah. They don't care about the other problem. But just because of that. And that's why I say, HH, like, when it comes to something, when you don't agree with it, the best solution often is just not to pay it. Pay it no mind. Just that's it. 
put it on the side. You, you, if, if it's, let's say, for example, like, for example, com comic books, Batman, if you think we always thought Robin was whack, right? <laughs> and this just made me think Robin's like, to be honest with you, now it just makes it feel pandering. Because mm. like he was never like this before. Have you? If you create a new character and you tell me he's bisexual or gay or something like that, I'm one. I, I wouldn't mind. That's cool. Because oh, yeah. they did. There was a lesbian Robin before in mm. the Dark Knight Returns. Uh, the Dark Knight Returns. The Rob, Rob the Robin in that in that uh, in that comic, which is in the 1980s, by the way. Mm. She was a lesbian, and nobody has a problem with that, right? It oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It becomes yeah, yeah. a problem when it becomes pandering. When you start changing current existing characters, existing and, characters, and, you can't, and, and, it's like that's see that's when you are not see. My thing is, why don't you create mm. a new character that's gay? That's fine. No, but no, you have to create an existing character because that existing character already has traction. Because, because what? Because what you want is. is people's eyes. Out. Because see, if you create a new character who is gay, people are like, oh, the character's gay. Okay, cool. H -H I'm gonna ignore that. But outrage. now you can't. You can't ignore it if it's someone that's existing that is already popular already. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, no, it's a have you? It's a discussion because like H -H, again, they want a reaction. They want a reaction. Mm. Now, besides the point, it's like that thing that we're talking about in, in Star Wars, that's not a new genre. There's a whole genre in like Japanese uh, culture. Which it's called like Yaoi, which is Y-A-O-I, mm. um, where they uh, take two existing, uh, like they take two existing like characters, male characters, and they put them in a gay relationship. Now, the reason why I know about this is South Park made an episode about it. Right, there's this random. There's these two random characters in South Park. Like they're not main characters or anything. They're just like side characters in the background. They're called Tweak and Craig, right? And just randomly in one episode, they just like the girls start drawing these two together in a relationship, right? And they like they sort of like force like like and they were making fun of that sort of genre. They were, but they were also commentating commentating about it. Um. And so for me, like whenever I I, I um uh, like when I see like when I see this stuff. It's because nowadays, like little girls, they find that kind of stuff exciting. Like not girls, like kids in general, because it's taboo to their parents. It has pushback. Therefore, mm. it is something that is exciting because you're not supposed to be doing it. Because the, mm. the, the the powers that be don't want it. And people love the forbidden fruit. When you tell somebody you don't you you can't do something, it makes them want to do it oh, yeah, even yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you tell them something is not good or it's bad, it makes them want to do it even more. And that's why these these guys who, who like make these decisions, you don't think it's going to cause they, they don't know that it's, it's going to cause uh, controversy. But oh. guess what? Controversy, controversy sells. sells. Controversy sells. They want this. Agency. They want they want us to talk about it, which it worked. Now me and you for the next half hour, we're talking about Robin, which a character that's irrelevant. Like the last time Robin was relevant for me, like I'll be honest, I'm a fan of um, Under the Red Hood, one of my mm. favorite pieces of oh, Batman yeah. media ever. Like I think, I think, um, like Robin in that one, he killed it. The way he comes back, he become the he the way he remarkets himself as the Red Hood. I always, I never was a fan of uh, the original Robin. I always thought that thought that he was uh, no no no. I, it's not you see, Reddit, just... I've, I've always hated Robin. Like, for me, see, I'm a huge Batman fan. Specifically, mm. Tim Burton's Batman. The whole point of Batman is he's by himself. He is solo yep. guy. He's he's a loner. He's lonesome. He's an introvert. Mm -hmm. Once you bring in a guy that wears bright red, yellow, green, pink, purple, I'm like, what? With a, with a flipping... I'm like, what the heck is this, is this clown doing? You know? So, see, but, but, but see, but squeaky red, see. But mm. my thing, though, is what's your intention? Is your intention just for people to talk, or is your intention for people to be more accepting of people who are bisexual? What's now, my, your intention? My assumption, like I hope, like because I want to believe in the betterment of humanity, is they're just trying to be, make people more tolerant to the idea, to sort of uh, just make it more normalized in a sense where people are and, just more tolerant to people. And, this, and Red, this is this the right? So you, you want them to be more tolerant? Is this the right tactic? I mean, they're trying to use popular media. I don't, I don't believe it's the right tactic because. This like look for for a lot of people that let's say for example they're maybe maybe like they're they're like 40 <laughs> 50 years old 30 so, years so, so, old for a very quick red like yep. so really just for it because it, it, yep. because I always forget some of my points. Mm -hmm. The best way of doing it, in my view, I don't know whether you or you agree, yep. is leave characters as they are, but to make this established character, meet a character who's bisexual, meet a character who is gay or so forth, meet a character who is a, a lesbian mm -hmm. and you don't enforce it, but it just comes to, oh yeah, I'm lesbian, I'm a bisexual. You just, but it just slowly blends in. So people are like, oh, yes, it's interesting, he's bisexual, but hey, Batman is cool with his character. Mm. 